we got Jeff on the phone. If Jeff makes it quick, let's uh, let's let's see what Jeff's got to say. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, good morning, everybody. Morning. I appreciate you guys morning. having me join you. Absolutely, everybody's welcome. We're all inclusive. All right, I love it. So just yeah, just kind of give us a background of who you represent, and what's going on over there in the Great Island of Port Aransas, Texas. There. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm the uh, president and CEO of the Chamber and the Tourism Bureau and Chamber Foundation that we uh, started uh, right uh, after Harvey left uh, back in August of 17. And uh, we're making a great comeback here on Mustang Island and, and getting Port A back to where it was and even beyond. Uh, and beyond. So close now. Bigger and better. So close. Yeah, definitely. The, the yeah. island looks like it's really been built up down there. And a lot of that, I mean, it's just I, I, it's just unbelievable how, how what nature can do to the area. Yeah, 47 years since the last Cat 4 uh, storm came through here, and uh, what it left behind was just a mess. But everything, you know, all those popular restaurants and, and shops and, and, and lodging units and, of course, the beach and fishing is uh, all back now and reopened, uh, all brand new, spanking new. And folks are going to have the best spring break and summer that we've ever had here. And uh, we're going to get it all kicked off in about uh, 10 days. With our first major festival, what what and what, what what is that? The this will be the um, as you know, birding is a big deal here in, in Mustang Island, and uh, we're going to have our twenty third annual Whooping Crane Festival. The Whooping Crane has chosen the coastal bend as its winter um, migration landing point, and uh, the, which they travel two thousand miles from northern Canada. And they were down to about 25 uh, left in the world, I think, 10 years ago, and back up to about 400 and making a great comeback, a similar way Port A's come back from, from Harvey. And uh, so our, our 23rd annual Whooping Crane Fest, we bring in some of the top speakers from around the world uh, to talk about whooping cranes, talk about nature and, and birding, because beyond the whooping crane, we have 330, 40 species of other birds that call Port A and the Coastal Bend home during the winter season. Yeah, so last night I was reading on the internet, is it a wine and whooping crane festival? Is that what you do, drink wine and watch the whooping cranes, or did I misread that? I was drinking a little no, wine, but No, that, that, yeah, that, that, that's all right. But we added a new tour. So what it is, it's three days. It starts February 21st, which is a Friday, and runs through Sunday at 2 o'clock, and it's a big trade show. We have speakers uh, throughout the city over at our, our community center where we have presentations and seminars. And then we also have uh, dozens and dozens of tours that you purchase. And these are tours that include, uh, in, we take you into the preserve to see the actual whooping cranes in their natural habitat, eating their food source. Is that better done with a red wine or, or a, a Chardonnay? Yeah. Or? <laughs> hmm. Now, you're going to be running up against the wellness show there in Aransas Pass on the 23rd, and they've got free hot dogs and beer. Yeah, what so do you I, got? I, oh, what do you uh, got? Yeah. yeah. Shots. Yes. We've got uh, some of the most amazing views, and uh, when folks take a break from all the seminars and tours, they eat the best food in the country. That's why we're, well, you know, we're the home of the World Food Championship, and we were designated as the number one foodie destination in Texas. See, but, so, the, but what time does that? Reason. What time does it start on Saturday on the twenty third? Early? It starts early, right? Bird watching. So our event starts every day at nine o'clock, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's twenty five dollars to get into the door and then if you want to buy a tour they range anywhere from 25 to 90 dollars depending on the tour some of our tours are six hour tours include lunch they take you out to king's ranch for the day and you get to go out and hang out in king's ranch that that one sells we only have six seats left because that always sells out wow we have two tours but we we have all types of tours we you mentioned the wine tour we have a sunset wine birding and dolphin cruise that is uh Thursday and Fridays, and that is only thirty bucks, and takes you out for two plus hours, and you have a great time enjoying the birds, checking out the dolphins, and sipping some white and red wine. Well, hopefully, it turns out better than Gilligan's tour. His is only three hours, but it lasted a lifetime. <laughs> well, it depends on the speaking kind of, of wine. Speaking of wine, drink, yeah. Speaking, speaking of wine, speaking of wine, uh, you know, you know, drink, drinking is a is a national pastime here in Port A. I think everybody knows that. Yeah, big dog. Maybe start, you wanna. 
You want to sponsor me to go to this wine fest with the whooping cranes, big dog? Or? That's yeah. The whooping cranes have uh, well, procreated so well, I think. That's right. That that's in the video. Yep. Yeah, I want to go on there, don't you? And you were saying something about a motorhome road tour you got going on there? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got, like I said, there's so many different tours, and a couple of them include that uh, amazing uh, grape elixir that everybody loves. But a lot of them are just nature and connecting with, with nature. But we have a, a, a mobile visitor center. It's a 38-foot uh, mobile RV, state-of-the-art, that travels around the state. And you see it. You, can't, you cannot see, help but see it because it looks like a, a floating uh, beach. It has uh, images of surfers and kayakers and folks on the golf cart and families enjoying great food and fishing. Uh, back of it's painted like a boat, so it looks like it's an actual boat out going out uh, fishing for some uh, tuna or some some marlin, and it, t- it goes around the state meeting with hundreds of thousands of people to promote Port A and all of our festivals, including Beachtoberfest and Sandfest. We we like our fests. Yeah, definitely. We definitely. are the you know you know we're the festival capital of Texas, right? Yeah, I mean I start every day yeah. with breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a fe- I'm a fe- well, you know, same thing. Feast, feast fest, feast fest, fast, wine, beer, hot dogs. It doesn't matter, big dog. Doesn't. That's right. So, with the big dog has about thirty motorhomes and about four hundred RVs. I guess do you have parking for that? The whooping crane event or the maybe he we can- have plenty. We have plenty. We have all the winter Texans down with their mobile RVs. Actually, they're not mobile. They park them and then they get their golf carts and, and run around town. We've got. Uh, Probably about 2,000 winter Texans here in Port A hanging out with us. Uh, half of them come over and hang out with me and, and shoot the breeze about sports and stuff. But uh, we love them. Glad they're here. And uh, we still have room for hundreds more. Well, uh, since, since this is a, a bird watching event, let's refer to them as snowbirds instead of uh, winter right. Texans. Yeah, they're snowbirds. And you can yeah. even come and watch them too. Watch the snowbirds. <laughs> watch the snowbirds. Yeah, yeah right. uh, it's the whooping cranes, though. That's a, this was an, almost an extinct bird bingo. You need to read about it on Wikipedia. No, I That's, remember as a kid that uh, the, them saving the, the whooping cranes. Crane. Yeah, they'll help you. Yeah, buddy. well, and, 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 yes, definitely. but they got them a Beautiful couple of the right bird. videos to watch, and now the population's back, and you know, back where yeah. it needs to be. And that good wine down here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So have a glass of wine, come out there, check out the RV, and walk around. On, is it on the beach or in the dunes, or where's the where do you where do the birds land? Well, they actually are back in the preserve in the bay, so you can't you can't drive up and see them. You actually have to get That's on where a the boat, boat tour, tour came in George. out of out of out of Port A, and you yeah. and it's about a two and a half hour tour because it's a. Yeah. It's about 45 he's been minutes drinking already. Get. He forgot. You, you missed that part. Remember the Gilligan and his tour? Yeah. And remember, yeah, it was. It's we a do a little tour, recap. Or, well, I mean, the wine was pretty good last night. My head still kind of reminds still me hurting a little. Right Don't worry, Jeff. I was paying attention. Yes, <laughs> that's why I have a phone. I can ask Google if I forget. So anyway, well, that, well, thanks for being on here, Jeff. This has been a, a yeah, pleasure. And we'll definitely hook up. And where do you where do you find out about your uh, website out on, on the internet? It is whoopingcranefestival.org. Whoopingcranefestival.org. Crane Just probably ask, okay, Google, Whooping Crane Festival. Yeah, yeah there you go. Right or worst-case worst, worst case scenario, the easiest way is visit com. Everybody knows that one. Visit com and, and visit Port Aransas. And vi- literally visit Port Aransas, not just yeah. on the web, yeah. but in person. Yeah. I went there. I was there a few weeks ago. That's a beautiful town there. Definitely. I'm getting more back. beautiful. Yeah, I'm driving. A lot of good, a lot of big news that are coming down the road. So yeah, I look forward to sharing more with you guys down the road. Hey, we appreciate it, Jeff. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for calling thanks in. So much. Thank you for tuning in to the RV Radio Show with the George West and Big Dog and the lovely Georgina. Stay tuned for more episodes and more segments coming to you each and every week. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Post and retweet on our Twitter page at RV Radio Show or share our Facebook page and like our Facebook page at RV Radio Show on Facebook. We will have more segments and episodes coming to you each and every week. Thank you and make sure to visit our website at www.rvradioshow.com for all the latest and greatest and maps and directions and places to go that we share on our episodes each and every week.